This podcast is now about how stupid Hector is. Yeah. He slaps people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, apparently that's my thing. He said it was his signature move. Yeah. It's called the what the Hector. <laughs> that's what these shirts mean. Howdy how, neighbor. Yo, 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 yo. All right, we're all good. Welcome to motherfucking Skank Fest. Why are you whispering it? Las Vegas. <laughs> are we rolling? My, I was checking my levels, all right? Okay. Yeah, we're rolling. Coming out, this is the last day. Sunday skank. Yeah. Celia just became a, a god last night. A legend? Night. Yeah. <laughs> fucking legend. She fucking started floating and shit. Yeah. <laughs> the naked roast was fucking awesome. She went up there and fucking murdered Evan Stone. Yeah. It what was, it cracks was me up as I looked up and I saw that all of my friends had like a prime fucking view. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Don't act like we weren't all going to see you naked at some point. Like, I know, but I thought I'd be more on a one in one level. I wanted to start a jumping jacks cheer. <laughs> <laughs> jumping jacks. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you, your, your roast battle was the best one of the night for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, like other people told me it was the best roast battle for both nights. So yeah. I'm like, yay. Well, I didn't see the night before, but. I caught the tail end of it, but I didn't see anything. It was. Shit, I caught the tail end of you. <laughs> uh. And the front end and both titties. The chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's his impression of Hector drunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, already. Everybody uh, everybody already knows me all drunk and shit. Like, damn, you fucking... They were yeah, like, that's you one okay? thing I'll tell you surprised me about, about drunk Hector. I've seen you drunk before, but I haven't seen you skank fest drunk. I think you started like six fights last night, which is I random people. Uh, yeah, yeah. I and not even meaning to. You were just yelling shit. You yelled at somebody in a convertible. And you didn't even say real words. You just went. Bleh! Like, <laughs> yeah, Shit! Like, what the fuck did he cat call at some match the other night? Oh, you go those, those two fat black chicks in the angel outfit. You so, go oh, fat you angels. Go, fat angels. What's that pussy smell like? <laughs> yeah. Who am I? You don't even remember, right? Do you I remember? remember that part. Do you remember hazmat trucks? Uh, no, I don't remember hazmat trucks. <laughs> do you remember White Castle? Yeah, White Castle. My, I, I didn't, but when y'all mentioned it, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, one thing I'll never forget is uh, the fact that you snore so fucking loud. <laughs> Dude, when I drink, when I drunk, when I drunk, I drunk. Yeah, you drunk. You were definitely when drunk. You drunk. You drunk. drunk. He's you still for drunk. Sure He's drunk. He's not had a beer yet today. <laughs> you for sure drunk. Oh, uh, speaking of being drunk. Let's talk about you two pussies and how you guys could have been on the naked road. Dude, I regret it so much. So much regret. It's my biggest regret in comedy, I think. Like, I think whenever I heard the news that, like, hey, you could be on there, like, my, my I shriveled up like an extra two inches. Dude, I didn't care about the being naked thing. I just didn't have any jokes for the dude because it was two minutes till roast time, and I didn't want to bomb in front of everybody. And then immediately I thought of, like, seven jokes for that motherfucker. And then we ran into him later in the night, and he goes, I was so worried because I heard you're the best roaster in Arizona. And I was like, oh, he was intimidated? This would have been fucking easy. Yeah, I told him that. He's like, I don't need, I don't need to be going up against that. I'll just do my own jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's probably why Harrington was like, no, nah, we don't need you. When I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I changed my mind. They were like, he said no. You fucked me, Hector. You fucked a lot of people this weekend. So, so I, I, want, I wanted to be. <laughs> well, I thought one of you, because I was the one who brought it up. It's like, I have two comics. One of them wanted to do the naked roast earlier, but nobody got back to him. It's like, can I run and see if they want to do it? Yeah. And I did run, even though my foot hurt, because I was trying to give homie some fucking opportunities. I knew I should have freaking uh, <laughs> uh, trimmed, the, trimmed the hedges. Dude, I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. I was just chilling, and then Hector gets up and starts following you, and he's like, Rob, come on. I'm like, what? He's like, we're roasting. I was like, okay. I thought we were going against each other at first, and then I was like, I don't know if I want to do this, and then I regret not doing it. I should have fucking done it. Well, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have naked roasted me? Yeah, I probably would have. We could do it tonight in the hotel. <laughs> All right. Just yell at each other and yeah. shit. I'll Post judge. it on OnlyFans. Yeah. I'm going to sit there. It's just going to be a new type of porn. It's just two men naked insulting each other. Yeah, dude. There's got to be a market for that shit. There probably is. Yeah, I got to take it slow on the drinking. Especially today. It's Kill Tony Day. I don't want to go up and be sloppy. Oh, okay. Like I did last night. Dude, <laughs> let, let's, talk, let's talk about your... Uh, your your midnight open mic set. Oh no, that was horrible. That's why I wouldn't want to drink today, man. You don't even remember most of that, right? Yeah, yeah, it was fucking horrible. That dude was heckling you, and you you were just ignoring him and doing bits. And then I I yelled out, I was like, "Get him, motherfucker!" 
<laughs> and then we saw him on the. We, he got up to leave right when you were getting off stage, thinking, and like, he was fuck. like four foot six. Little dude. Yeah, he was so tiny. Oh man. I, I'd I yelled. It, so I, I started wait, getting. I can't him. wait to see it. Dude. Are we all from Vegas? Locals? No, where are you guys from? Tampa. We, talked, we went over this. Oh, we went over this. We from Tampa. <laughs> Y'all here for Skankfest? No. No? What are y'all here for? I'm actually here to ride the world's biggest penis. Uh, which, that cannot be the world's biggest penis, man. That has a lot of black to it, man. That can't be the world's biggest penis. That's some bullshit. Look at that shit spin around. Have you ever rode a penis smaller than that? Well, you have a penis in his lap, actually. Oh, yeah? Dude, we got, hey, let's give it up for our, uh, Will. residential penis rider right here, Mr. I'm, Will. I'm, Hell yeah, Will. I'm a penis professional. Everyone has happened to be on your head. I have a lot of dreams, dick. Um, I'm a, uh, world renowned. All right, Will. I didn't ask you all that shit. All right. <laughs> Calm down, Will. You, you had your chance. You had your chance, all right? It's all right, Captain Penis. You need some money. Anybody watch, uh, uh, baseball? No. No? I, I, I found this hat in Vegas. I found this hat. I found this hat in Vegas a few months ago, and uh, turns out these guys won the World Series or something. People have been coming up to me like, "Hell yeah, bro! High five!" And I'm like, "I just found this hat, bro. I don't know what you're talking about, man." <laughs> I started getting him for you. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, "Where's the other half of you?" As he was walking off. I was like, how come you got Kendrick Lamar hair and Steve Urkel voice? Yeah, it waited too long to go up. I was getting I was getting other people up because whenever Jamar Neighbors came in and he saw me in the front, I just signaled I didn't think he was going to listen, and he came and sat in the front with us, and then yeah, yeah. Adam put him right up. Yeah, you fucked me on that one, too, because I was on stage, <laughs> and it's hard, to, it's hard to ignore Jamar's fucking Rainbow. crazy mohawk. So then I started I like going, his mohawk. It I, makes me think of Sherbert. I started going recruiting uh, comics over here. Like I, I came in the green room here and I was like, "Hey, anybody want to go do an open mic? <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw you up." And everybody was like, "Hell no!" Dude, and it's fucking one, surprising that people did. There was one homie that did. Yeah, he he went down there with us. Did it. Huh? Cowards. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? Here to, you're here to do comedy, make them laugh. Eh. Dude, I was too drunk. I don't I don't know how my set went so well, but. It went all right, apparently, because the dude started buying me drinks, the owner. He actually offered to buy me drinks, too, but you I wanted to go upstairs. You wanted to come back to Skankfest. I get it. It's yeah. so crazy that they decided to throw an open mic just, like, one floor below. Right. I guess it was pop-up, and the owner, like, told Adam. It's all, like, it's like, are you doing anything for Skankfest? So they, like, slapped it all together. Dude, they're running it again, apparently. That's what Jill texted me. Uh. The mic. I think I'll go the Kill Tony route and get yeah. Dick well, down. Well, it's going to be later. It's going to be like midnight. Okay, but I still need to get Dick down. You, who are you going to get Dick down by? Chris. Oh, yeah. Where is he? The other naked uh, roaster. He's at work until I think five or six. I didn't ask him if he cared if I told people. No, yeah. Okay, well, we can bleep it. Yeah, Actor's good. not going to put oh, this shit out for a good, week. Good publicity, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it depends how the sex goes. Uh, What is it called? A promo? Yeah, yeah. Porno promo. And so they gave up. I should daddy. work at Costco. I fucking give out samples left and right. <laughs> it's not a sample. It's a full fucking meal. <laughs> All right, then. I'm call my pussy the soup kitchen. Because <laughs> you fuck homeless dudes so much. <laughs> no. What bothers me is like all the times like I've been homeless for like five years, like on and off. And I still manage to get more dick than most people. Yeah, because you fuck me. homeless dudes so much. I don't. <laughs> It's uh, real easy to huddle for warmth wait. in an alley with some other fucking homeless person. Have I homeless fucked a person. homeless person? Yeah. Mike Mees? <laughs> he owned his condo. That that still surprises me. His mom probably paid for it. Didn't you meet some guy at a bus stop? You know what? He was an engineer, so maybe fuck you. <laughs> no, engineers don't ride the bus. He doesn't ri He didn't ride the bus. He saw me pulled up in his car. And came to the bus stop. Could have had a DUI. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He he picked you up like some bang br bus shit, or he, he just pulled up. And he was like, "You need a ride." Well, he asked if we could get to know each other, and I'm like, "Why?" And then he's all like, "I think you're cute," and I'm like, Dude, "All you, right." And you, he went to go get cigarettes, and he came back, and I'm like, "I don't really want a date, but do you want to smash?" And he's like, "Sure." And we got a sh CD hotel room. Dude, you could have been fucking uh, making money. You could have been prostituting yourself. I'd make so much money doing that. I have a mental block about it. I don't know why. 
That dude's like, I want to get to know you. He's really saying, hey, how much? I want to get to know what it costs to be all up in that pussy. Oh, just like that boy, that boy whore we met. Yeah, yeah, Max. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out, Max. Shout he's out, a, Max. He's an escort. Is that the right name? Yeah, boy yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not gonna put his government out there, but his government name is 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 more porny than his his porn name. Oh yeah. But yeah, that dude was tripping fucking balls when I saw him later. Wearing the tiniest shorts. Under he couldn't even fucking focus on like anything. And he was in the fight. He did. He did that boxing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but didn't he, he also said he got out acid? super quick. Yeah, <laughs> he got out super quick. He, he said, or some "Yeah, shit? it was the uh, it was the uh, musical chairs one, and he tripped oh, okay. and fell down. And once you're on the ground, you're done." Oh. Yeah. No. Next year, if they let me back, I definitely want to do the Ellis Mania. Yeah. Oh shit! That'd be Dude, tight. you're definitely coming back. <laughs> definitely. I feel like I'm not a good podcast guest right now because you're in the you're in the both of you guys are in the metaverse now in the in the decentral comedy. Yeah, shout us. out to decentral comedy. Uh, they scanned your asses. Dun, dun, dun. Do you know what it, it makes me think of? Like that video game backyard wrestling. That's what my guy looks like. Yeah, the WWE one, the first uh, one that came out. Yeah, yeah, the but the one that only took place in a backyard. That's what I look like. <laughs> I, I liked mine. How mine came out. I was stoked that the dress came out with it. Yeah, I wasn't they expecting got my tattoos. Oh fuck yeah! Which was fucking nuts. Oh uh, shit! I didn't pay attention. Uh, I think it could have only had my arm like that. Yeah. They did go. You like make you go like that? Um, like no, no. You put your arms down and then they rotate you around. Now bend over. Huh. So, Hector's already started drinking, right? Yeah, yeah. I said I wasn't, and then I, I did. <laughs> so, yeah, did they ask you to fill the flask? I did not ask to fill the flask yet. I have a Batman flask that was a gift, and I want to fill it up with the liquor here. <laughs> Just ask them to put a little bit of everything in there, make grog. Yeah. I don't think it should be a problem. Yeah. Should we go grab a, a guest or something? I was thinking about that. That's you can tell that I'm fizzling, right? Like fizzling. Let's see. While we're while we're here, might as well, right? Yeah. Um, Potential guests. I mean, shit. They could take my spot. Let me see if I. Can. I'll get to sit over by the cow by the by the camera. No, if, if they do, I could just squeeze in with Celia. Okay. Huh. Right here. Let's um, see. I saw Adam Lucky out there. In the yeah, I think he's wandering though. Hmm. Good try, Adam. I don't know any of these motherfuckers. <laughs> but I think everybody's a comic actually in here, right? Or yeah, honest. for the most part. Yeah. We need to have like a fun thing where, where they got brought you guys to tell a story about fighting. Yeah, yeah, we have no theme for this shit. You guys want to just uh, hang? <laughs> yeah. Just well, hang? I think you just ask people, hey, how's your skank fest uh, been? You guys like, yeah. you guys like jokes? <laughs> All right, we'll go find somebody. Mm-hmm. Dude, my ears just popped. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. That was weird. You pausing it? Yeah, should I just leave it going? Huh? Sure. Let it roll long, long style. Will I go fine? Dude, I'm pretty sure if you just go up to anyone and go, "Hey, <laughs> we're we're doing a podcast. Do you want to come and do like ten minutes on it?" They'd be like, "All right." Is it still recording? Yep. Okay, right. what are we going to talk about? We talk to each other every fucking day. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> we talk to each day. other once a week. I mean, we That's this. fair. We should have been doing this daily yeah, yeah. Right? So but you to could, be fair, we've so been hammered have a most of the time. Right? Oh, yeah, me just being nervous and shit for the first, like, Dude, you two should, months. Look at you, though. Now you're fucking cool. Like, you're Yay. good now. Uh, why did why did Hector leave? Why not talk to somebody here? I don't know. This podcast is now about how stupid Hector is. Yeah. He slaps people. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> <laughs> He's like, apparently that's my thing. He said it was his signature move. Yeah. It's called the what the Hector. <laughs> that's what these shirts mean. <laughs> oh. That's what it is. Just the W. Yeah. Hmm? He's like, pop, pop, pop. I, I'm just flabbergasted by the fact that he left the green room where all the comics are to go find comics to do the fuck, do this podcast. Yeah. 
He did take like three breakfast dabs though. <laughs> yeah, I can't fuck with dabs. Like I occasionally smoke, but I cannot fuck with dabs. That shit. I'm getting used me. to it because of Josh, but like him and his friends will just be like dab, 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 and I'll have one. I'll be in the corner just fucking dying. Well, when Hector was like, "Do you want to do a dab before bed?" I was like, "No, that sounds like a horrible idea." Like I was already feeling kind of shitty yesterday. Yeah. And worried about my heart and shit. The last thing I wanted was to do a dab so I could worry. I wouldn't have slept. I would have just sat there worrying all fucking night. I think I had my day drinking like on point for yesterday. Dude, my my day drinking was solid because I uh, hydrated. Well, because I had a beer and then I drank a shit ton of water, and then I had another beer because I was like getting acclimated or whatever. And then I st- once the sun went down, I was it like, drank water right. and a handful of jerky. The rest was alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. and then that little White Castle burger. Remember, I gave you that fucking, I gave you that water, and you're like, "All right, I guess I'll take it." And then you drink it, and you're like, "I feel revitalized." Yeah, I did. <laughs> Let's see. Dude, where Sad. the fuck? Where did he go? He's probably dead now. Did he take the shrooms? <laughs> Not yet. I think we... Uh, I was going to say, you guys wanted to be clear-headed for Kill Tony, right? Huh? Yeah. Were, were you going to sign up for it? I assume. Maybe. Maybe. Sign uh, up for it. It depends how I feel. I'm definitely not signing up for the 5 o'clock. That's fair. But the 9 o'clock, I'll probably do. Yeah, I wanted to do both, but like I'm doing the tank at 6. I'm like, fuck. And it'd be crazy to trade in 8 minutes for the possibility of one. Yeah, for sure. It's a good thing he's going to edit this. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just fucking dead space. There's going to be a lot of dead air. I want to text right. him and be like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Come right. talk to some people in here. Right. I was going to just shout. It's like, yo, anybody want to do a podcast for 10 minutes? Ugh. I don't want to go back to Flagstaff for two weeks. I don't have the clothes for it. It's going to be cold. Yeah. Why are you doing it? Because it's a family and I don't want my brother to lose his baby. I got you. You, you. you don't leave clothes at your brother's house? Like warm clothes that you would never need in Phoenix? Not really. I might have some at my sister's house though. I don't know. I'm hoping I can like just con him into getting me a phone. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, I uprooted my life for you for like three weeks. I mean, you can, but also <laughs> you're getting paid. so. Yeah, that's true. I don't know when though. You can catch like a $50 phone. No, I was going to do that, turn my phone back on, fucking fill out a whole bunch of Indeed resumes or just try and do the comedy thing. Wait, are you done? What the fucking... So I got an email like two days ago saying that my time off I was approved for. Yeah. Like automatically I was approved for and they're like, yeah, cool. They decided it's like, oh, so we decided not to approve your time. Well, that sucks. Yeah. So, and I was already on thin ice. So I'm 98% sure I'm fired. Okay, well, fuck him. Yeah. Which I'd like grab my shit like from Phoenix and just take it up to Flagstaff if they'd let me if I'm not fired. Yeah. I guess I can call and ask. You can call and ask. I'll call and ask. Yeah. But then we'll need. Having money's better than not having money. Well, that's fair, but then I'd need to go down to Phoenix to pick up my computer equipment. Yeah. So I could work. But really, but also my brother has five kids, so like it's gonna be hard to fucking. He can't put you in like a like a side room or some shit. It's a two bedroom apartment. Rough. Yeah. And he's still fucking popping them kids out. Look, there he is. There's Hector. Hold on. Hector. Yeah. You know there's comics in here, right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, there were comics in there. Mm-hmm. My fucking legs hurt. Would anybody like to briefly talk about their Skankfest experience? All right then. Yeah, come on down. Fucking feel like Bob Barker. <laughs> come on down. I just realized that that's a super dated reference. <laughs> Drew Carey's the fucking Price is Right guy, and he has been for like 10 years. 